to another Optolac Enhanced Vision product demonstration. Today is part two of our Clearview C. So what we're going to emphasize on this time is the speech aspect of our Clearview range. In the previous video discussed how the basic video magnification works with all the control panels and the XY table etc. But today we're going to concentrate on the actual speech side of it. And unlike the normal video magnification, the speech side is controlled via a touchscreen. So this is a 24 inch touchscreen. And the way you activate the touchscreen, once you turn the machine on, which is the, the standard way for all our Clearview C range, by the, pressing on the power button, the raised orange dot circle, the machine will go through a series of beeps and then a musical note will play. Once the musical note is played, which usually takes about 40 seconds from boot because the, the software inside is booting up in the background, then you can activate the touch screen by just touching the bottom right hand corner of the screen. So for people with sight loss, they can feel the bottom metal part of the frame of the monitor and all they need to do is just touch the glass slightly above it, anywhere in that corner basically. Position the text inside the window and tap the screen. So, as the on-screen description tells you, you position the text inside the window and then just tap the screen. It plays a um, capture note and within a few seconds it'll start playing back. Rediscover the joys of reading from broadsheet newspapers, viewing photograph albums and practical craft work without being restricted in movement. The Clearview C desktop video magnifier is designed to improve your reading experience. So, you'll notice there is now a line of buttons on the bottom. They control the screen. Because, like I say, in this speech mode, it is fully touchscreen, so you're not using the, the standard control pad that you use in normal video mode. So, from the right-hand side, the X, well, that just quits out of the application again, allowing you to go back to standard video magnification. The green uh, forward and reverse lines, uh, uh, arrows, I should, should say, uh, for, for the speed, so you can increase or decrease the speed of the voice on the machine. Speed up. Speed down. And you can also change the volume. Volume up. Volume down. And that's just controlled by the purple buttons next to it. You'll hear that every time I actually touch it, you do get the audio feedback telling you pretty much what you've just done. So, for when you want to make it sound faster, Speed up. Or slower. Speed down. Or louder. Volume up. Or quieter. Volume down. The main yellow button in the middle is the play and pause. Height adjustable tilting screen. So that can go from that side. You do have a magnification image with a plus and minus. So you can do step magnification. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom out. Zoom out. Overview on. And that can be done in two ways. You can just press the plus and minus, uh, but a shortcut is by just pressing your finger anywhere on the screen and keeping it on the screen. And then you can jump in much quicker. Because it's a touch screen, it means that you can also move along the photographed document and then start the playback pretty much anywhere you want by just tapping on the word. You're with more working space beneath the camera. Whether you prefer simple or more advanced options, the clear view see offers both. And you do get your reading line uh, going along as well so you can read and listen to it at the same time. Overview on. The numbered bubbles what they're for is paragraph jumps. So each one of these is a paragraph 
So again, quite useful if you are reading a, a letter or a document and it's got your address on there, maybe it's a bank statement so your address is on there, the, the bank's address, SAR code and stuff, stuff like that. Not necessarily that you, you need to listen to that or, or want to listen to that, so you can jump straight into the main part of the document if need be. So for instance, if you want to go straight on to part six, then you could just tap on number six. The basic controls are always visible from the control pad, which is recessed in the XY reading table. And it'll just jump straight to that. Or you can just allow it to play from top to bottom quite happily as well. The last button on the left hand side, the M, is for menu. So this allows us to go into to change voices or languages, etc. So let's go into that now. Main menu. So again, you always get the audio feedback telling you what you've just done. So now we have six boxes, a save, open, delete, voice, view and settings. So the save, open, delete serve that same purpose because the, this is basically a Windows platform underneath. You can save scan documents in for later use. You can open those documents in any way or format and then you can also delete those documents. The voice in this particular setting, if you just tick on it once, it will flip through the uh, voices that are available that you've already installed or more likely that uh, we've already installed for you. So if I just tap on that once. Changing voice. British English, Serena. Changing voice. British English, Daniel. So we'll Selected. Leave, so we'll leave it on Daniel for now. We can also view and settings. So the view, view menu allows us to view the text with the photograph in place. But again, if you want to have the text in a, a black and white or black yellow. Black on yellow. Yellow on black. Blue on yellow. Yellow on blue. Red on black. And so on and so forth. Black on red. Green. Black on. Purple on. Black on. The, white on blue. Bl and. White on black. Black on white. The mode allows us to change the, the, the setup of it. Page. Column. Line. Page. So again. I contrast on. You can have it set to numerous different styles depending on the individual. Highlight box yellow. And again, you always get the audio feedback telling you what you've just done. Highlight line. And X always brings you out of that menu. Main menu. By going into settings. Settings menu. We have further options. So again. Entering language selection menu. It's obviously set to English, English now. But we can go Selected. into English. Voice selection menu. British English. Daniel. So Daniel, Selected. Fiona and Serena is pre-installed. But we do have US and we have... British English. Bina. Australian English. Karen. Indian English. Deepa. Irish English. Moira. So we do have a number of different accents. British English, Daniel. Entering but, language selection menu. English. But Selected. as you can see, we also have a vast range of languages as well. Ruski. So again, if you speak more than one language, you can certainly select more than English. one language and it will read the document Selected. in that particular language. It won't, menu. it won't translate, but if you do put a German or a French or a Spanish Italian textbooks underneath there and select the languages, then it will read it in that language. Options will just allow you to go in. recognition quality. Again, it's pretty standard with the text recognition, activate speech, automatic language uh, detection. So again, you don't have to always set up the languages if you want it set for automatic, then you can do that. Inverted icons, column filters, all those sort of functions are in there and there is quite, activate a, or quite a range. Settings menu. And then you can default everything back to factory default if need be. Main menu. 
So again, for documents, if you wish to save a document, you quickly, you, all you need to do is simply click on save. Save as menu. Click on document, and that is the one you use for most in operations. Save with voice label. You get the prompt for save with voice label. If you click on yes, there is a built-in microphone just where my finger is, so you can, it'll pick up your voice and you can save it as whatever you want. And we'll do that on this occasion. If you click on no, it'll just save it as the first line of text so that you have a, still know what document you're opening uh, later on. So we'll, we'll save this document. Please record a voice label of up to five seconds. Page 10. Saving. Please wait. Document. Page 10. Has been saved. Do you want to append more pages? And again, this screen is if you had multiple pages that you wanted to scan in doing one go, then you would click on yes and you would scan in the next page and go through that same procedure of recording a voice label if you wish to record it. Uh, and then it would also then ask you, do you wish to append more pages? Once you've finished appending as many pages as you need to, you click on no. Page. And then it'll process it. One thing to note is that the more pages that you have on your document, you will have a couple of extra icons, a, a forward and a reverse, just to cycle through those saved pages, should you wish to. Again, X always brings you out of the uh, particular screen. The menu part. Main menu. If we now click on open. Open menu. Open document. Page 10. So that was the document that we've just saved, and that's a previous document as well. So again, depending on how many documents you have in there, you would just use the up and down arrows to scroll through the particular one you wanted, and then type on document. the document you want. Page 10. XY reading table, two sizes, stepless magnification control, overview. So. That's a quick overview of the CVC Speech Plus part of our Clearview range. Again, X comes out. Clearview on. For now, it's just back to being a normal, standard video magnifier. As usual, if you have any further questions, there's a load of information on our websites. Uh, and there's uh, more information from our, our guys in our office who would be more than happy to answer any question on our usual free phone number. Thank you very much for your time.